In this video, I will be packaging Google Drive executable installation file into a MSI file using Wix. Main reason for that is to deploy the software using group policy. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about installing any using Wix. And also I have a video about PSExec. And that's because I will be installing the MSI file that we will be creating using a system account. And that's to make sure that the installation is successful no matter what user I'm using to deploy the software. And now I will start this video by downloading Google Drive Executable. And for that I will use the link that I have here. That brings us to the Google Drive download page. And if we scroll down a bit, we have a download now button. I'll click on it. Then I will go to my downloads folder. And here we can see our Google Drive setup executable installation file. And the next thing that we need is Wix configuration file. And for that, I will go back to my GitHub page where I have few configuration files. One of them is called Google Drive, and this is a complete Wix configuration file. You can check it out if you want to, but for this video, I will be using this one called template. So I will click on it and it brings us to this file. Then I will click on this button right here to download the configuration file. Now I will go to my downloads folder and here we can see our WXS file. So I will right click it and rename it. And I will rename it to Google Drive and press enter. Then I will right click on the file and open it with Visual Studio Code. And as you can see, it's an XML file. It's basically instructions for Wix on how to package the executable into MSI file for us. And when working with this template, we only care about this part right here. Basically, we need to fill in the necessary information that is unique to Google Drive installation. So first we need to name our MSI package and I will name it Google Drive Installer. Then we need to, for exe, we need to provide the executable name. For that, I will go to my downloads folder, right click on the executable, select the name, and then I will select the full name because we need to include the extension. And I will right click again and copy it, go back to Visual Studio Code, paste in the value. For the path, we need to provide where we currently have our executable. So for me, it's my downloads folder, and my downloads folder is in D drive downloads and then we need to provide the silent arguments basically we want our google drive installation to happen silently so that the installation doesn't disturb our users and for that i will go to my github page once more and here i have all the arguments that i want to use for this package i will select it and then i will copy it go back to visual studio code and paste in the value right here then for the version we need to provide a version for this msi package and this is not the version of the software i like to keep my msi file version the same as the softwares but in this case i will just give it a value of 1.0.0 then publisher is not that important, but it's a mandatory field. So I will give it a value of let's do automation. And the last value that we need to provide is good. Basically, this will be the unique identifier for this package. So to generate a good, I will go back once again to my GitHub page. And here I have this PowerShell command. So I will select it, right click it, copy it. And then I will open my terminal. You can open a PowerShell window if you don't have terminal. I will paste in the command and press enter. And every time I I'm using this command, I'm getting a new, a new unique identifier. So I will select one of the values, right click it, go back to my Visual Studio Code, and I will paste in the value right here. And that's all the necessary information that we need to provide for our MSI package. And now we can generate our MSI file. So for that, I will go back to my terminal once again. And here we want to change the location in our terminal to the location where we have our configuration file. So I'll type CD. Then it's in my D downloads folder. So I'll type D downloads and press enter. And if I do command there, 
we can see our files right here. I can see my Google Drive setup executable and the Wix configuration for Google Drive. Now to build the package, I need to type Wix, build, and then we need to provide the configuration file name. So for me, it's Google Drive and press enter. Now we can go back to our downloads folder and let's wait for the MSI file to be generated. And as you can see, the MSI file was successfully generated. So the last step that we need to do is to see if the MSI file is working for us. So for that, I will right click on the MSI file, copy it, go to my VMware workstation where I have a virtual machine prepared for this video. And here I have this software folder and I will paste in the MSI file that we created into this folder. In the same folder, I also have psexec executable and that's, like I said, I will be using it to execute the installation under the system account. So let's continue and for that I will go to start menu and type cmd to open another command line and I will run it as administrator. Then in our command line, we want to change the location to the directory where we have our executables. So for that, I will click right here to copy the location, then go back to my command line and I will type cd, paste in the location and press enter. If I type there, we can see our files right here. We can see our Google Drive MSI file and the psexec executable. Now let's, uh, ah, one more command is who am I? If I use that, it is saying that this command line is running under the admin user. And now let's switch from the admin user to the system account. And for that, I will use psexec. So I will type psexec executable name minus i for interactive minus s to launch the process under the system account. And now we need to provide the process that we want to start. And in this case, it's CMD because I want to open another CMD window. And here it is. But this time, if I type who am I, it is saying that this window is running under the account NT authority system. So everything that I am doing in this window, I am doing it as a system account. So once again, we want to change our location in this command line to the location where we have our files. So for that, I will type CD, paste in the location and press enter. If I type there, we can once again see our files here. Now to start the installation, I will type cmd slash c. This is not necessary, but it allows us to see when the installation is fully finished just by looking at the command line. And then I will provide the MSI file name. So it's Google Drive.msi and let's install it silently. So it's slash qn and I will press enter. Now let's wait a few seconds and it seems that the installation is done. So let's look around and see what happened. First, I will open control panel by typing in this command line control. And then I will select uninstall a program. And here we have our program list. And we see that we installed Google Drive installer that's published by Let's Automation. And this is the version number. And also here we have our Google Drive software in itself. And here we have two software entries because we installed the Google Drive installer and then the Google Drive installer installed the Google Drive software executable for us. And it's possible to remove Google Drive installer from this program list, but then the troubleshooting, if something goes wrong, gets uh, unnecessary hard. So that's why I like to leave it. And now let's see if Google Drive is working. And for that, I will go to my start menu, all programs, and somewhere here we have our Google Drive. And it seems that it starts just fine. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.